With a new effects modulator in Cubase 12, you can breathe new life into any track and you can make even the most bland sound super interesting. Let me show you. So I have a little track right here, so let me play you some of the channels and let's see how we can make them more interesting and add some movement using the FX modulator. So I'm going to start with this synthwave bass and I'm going to bring up the FX modulator. Let's listen without it first. Okay, this sounds pretty standard. Now let's try and give it some movement. Let's try and give it some animation. So let me give you a very quick tour of the FX modulator and let me show you how we can do that. Here we can see all the curves that we can create for every single effect. So we can select from various factory curves like this. And we can also create our own curves very easily just by clicking and dragging. And we can create multiple points change the curves and we can even create random curves like this. Here we can shift the curves left and right, flip them horizontally and vertically. And here we have a very handy undo and redo. Now here is the effects section and this is where all the magic happens. Here we can start adding multiple effects in these slots. As you can see, I've already added a filter, overdrive, compressor, volume and beat crusher. But I can choose through a wide range of effects like chorus, width, pitch shifter, time shifter, reverb, frequency shifter, panning, multi-mod and flanger. And depending on what kind of effect I have loaded, I can see the different effects controls right here. For example, for the filter, I have the frequency and the cue. And you can see that these update here in the curves as well. But for the overdrive, I have the drive level, which we can see right here. And each effect can have its own separate curve, which is really powerful. So let's start with the filter and I'm going to give this bass line a more dynamic movement. Let's check it out. So as you can see, it's really easy to add dynamic movement to any sound. Now let's go ahead and add some overdrive here and I'm going to have a different curve so that we add some attitude to this sound. So as you can see right here, we have zero overdrive and when the curve goes up, we have full overdrive. What about we go to the bit crusher here and let's add some bit crusher. And here of course we can change the time division as well. So if I want to make this faster, maybe I want to have it every quarter note. So it's a lot of fun. Now let me show you what else you can do. Let's go to the compressor here and I'm going to turn it on. And any effect can also be sidechain. Let me show you an example with this compressor here. I'm going to have a kick drum here and I'm going to sidechain it to my compressor here. So now you will see that when we have the kick drum hitting, we're going to get sidechain with a compressor. And I can change the attack and release.
Now let's turn off the compressor and do the exact opposite. In this case, I'm going to go to volume, activate it, and as you can see, I have the same kick drum as my side chain, and now we're only going to hear the sound, we're going to have the volume going up when the kick drum hits. And you will also see that when I play with the attack and release settings, I can get some very interesting results. Check it out. Another very powerful thing we can do is activate multiband processing. So all I need to do is activate this filter bank and now the volume module will only affect the frequency range that I set right here. Let's check it out. And as you can see, you can create some really interesting rhythmic effects just by using the multiband processing. Now let's try and process this arpeggiator. And here what I've added is the filter, the multimode module, width and reverb. Let's have a listen. What about this drum loop? I have a flanger here, some overdrive, the multi-mod, and some reverb. And you will see that I've added the reverb so that it only appears when we have a snare hit. Let's have a listen. First without. So you can see when the snare hits, we get the reverb. And if I want to, I can also select multiple points and start editing them at the same time. How about we make this super simple pad sound more interesting and more rhythmic? Let's listen to this. Yeah, that's as simple as it can get. Let's add the FX modulator and I'm going to add some filtering, some panning, some bit crusher, some chorus, width and reverb. And let's have a listen. Before. So as you can see, you can create so many interesting effects even with the most bland sound. Now let's take this vocal that I have right here. We are ready tonight, we are ready tonight. I know you say right. And now let's add some flanger, chorus, pan, reverb and volume to this vocal with the effects modulator and let's see how we can make the sound. We are ready tonight, we are ready tonight. So as you can see, so many different complex sounds going on in there. If we wanted to do this with automation, that would take a long time. But with the FX modulator, it's super simple to do. Now let me go a little bit crazy and add the time shifter as well. And let's see what we can come up with. <laughs> So all sorts of crazy wacky effects. Now let's play the entire track with and without the FX modulator plugins that we've added and let's see how we transformed a relatively bland track into something very interesting and very dynamic.
So as you can hear, you can have loads of fun. You can create some really, really interesting dynamic sounds with the FX modulator. I want to show you one last thing. You can actually trigger the effects with the FX modulator using MIDI notes. In this case, I've added an instance of FX modulator on my stereo out and I'm going to trigger the pitch shifter effect using a MIDI note. So as you can see, I've activated MIDI and I'm setting this MIDI track to the FX modulator. Let's try it. This way you can also create some really interesting real-time effects using MIDI. So this is the brand new FX Modulator Instant Inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and have fun.